Hey y'all, this is Stevio here, just uh, spraying in my haggy. What the, what the heck is this? What the? Oh my goodness! I did not know these big of rocks were in my field. Oh no! What are we gonna do? Let's get to it. I think I gotta be real careful and make sure my boom goes over them. We're just spraying a little weed killer here in our beans right now. I'm trying to get done with my spraying, but uh, man, I, I gotta get rid of them rocks. I can't have them rocks when it comes to harvesting. That, that would just be horrible. I think I'm gonna stop here. Just make, just see how many I have. I'll shut this haggy off right now. Mm, leave the booms out. So I bring my little uh, three wheel killer here, my little three wheeler, my little two, 200X Honda. It's pretty nice. The only reason I really bring this is because it fits right under the haggy. So when the haggy's on there, I could just drive it in. So I don't have to drive my uh, tinker truck back if I have like uh, have to go get a part or something like that it works out nice I think get on this little uh, killer machine here hey if you like the video make sure you like it it's one of them free things you could do to actually help somebody out and it helps out every youtuber so if you like it just make sure you smash that like button thanks you all alright so this is always a treat going off this back of this Ooh. it's always a little treat right there Ooh, right underneath the boom so I don't think this four-wheeler will hurt the bean so I right. yeah it won't scare these birds out of our bean field okay we got one rock here man these rocks are huge I'm worried about the rocks you can't see and I I really don't know if the if they just pushed up from the basically the freezing. Ooh, we got some here you can't really see. That's not good. That is not good. So we got a few here. We we definitely have to do some rock movement. And I think for the sake of our harvesters and everything, I'm just gonna basically suck it up and basically kill the beans I have to to get these rocks out of here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Little killer machine, I can't find you. Oh no. Oh no, go to the sound of the... Oh, there it is. Little killer machine. Hidden in the beans. Alright, so... If you want to see... This is the rocks that comes out of this area. Now... That thing is huge. I mean, look at this thing. Climb up on here. I mean, we're almost as tall as the trees now. That is one giant rock there. So, I have no idea how they lifted that out of there. That was kind of impressive. Just love this little three-wheeler. Reminds me, I forgot to go feed my cattle this morning, so I was up early spraying, so I think I'm going to run back and feed the cattle. So I'll cut through the beans here, feed the cattle, come back, finish spraying, bring my sprayer back. Run back. So we did uh, basically bale up our uh, grass field right here, so I want to put some of them bales in our new basically our, our new feed wagon. So I did get a feed wagon that basically uh, grinds up bales. So this Coon Knight vertical, specially painted. Okay, let's start this thing up here quickly. This thing is always a treat to start up. Oh, oh, come on, you got it. There you go. 
Ooh, ooh, yeah. Yeah, listen to that power. Oh, yeah. There we go. Pull this big thing. I'm going to pull it over here by our uh, bale area. This uh, 4620 works nicely with this. Bring it over here. It's a little bit kind of hilly right there. Bring that over. There we go. I probably should have shut it off. Oh, that was probably a mistake. Hopefully it starts again. I know, I'm coming. Jeez, hold on. All right, let's see. It's 4440. It'll start up. I know, I'm coming. Man, them things, they are not patient whatsoever. Out of feed for one hour, and all they do is... Wham! Alright, let's get over here and fill this up with a few bales so we can feed them. Maybe my wife won't get annoyed by all the bawling. Alright, stab one of these bales here quickly. No real art needed here. There we go. Put it in an old feed wagon. Get another one here. Man, I really like this 4440 as a loader tractor. Works great, I think. Just the white, the right weight set up here. Ooh, I don't know. Let's see if we can get another one in there or not. This might be a little bit too much for this uh, little uh, night feed wagon. Let's see how much we can get in there. Can you go in there? Oh yeah, you will. All right. I'm gonna go park this here quickly and then uh, hopefully start up our 4620. Look at my little trike killer right there. I call it a killer because them things are extremely dangerous. They have definitely killed plenty of ranchers, farmers back in the day. So, but these things were fun. I can tell you that. Most of them floated on water too. Man, were they fun. All right, we're going to run over here. Hopefully start this old girl up. Man, that vertical max looks good and a little gray, I think. Alright, start this old... Yep, 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 yep. Come on. Oh, you're in luck. You ballin' head. Ballin' head of cattle. Ooh, I probably should wait until it idles out. Yeah, there we go. A little bit hard on that engine. We don't let it idle out first. Ooh, we gotta back this up. This is always real muddy here. Probably need to put some rock down or something. This is always not the easiest. Alright, we got some feed down there for him. Eat up. Stop balling, just eat already. Start making some milk for me. It's about time already. All right, we better get this 4620 parked and then get back to our spraying. Then I need to figure out how, how in the world am I going to move giant rocks? That will definitely be a treat for us all to experience. I think I'm probably going to have to rent an excavator, probably, just to lift them out of there. My, I'd imagine, I don't think, oh, uh, 4440 with the, our biggest loader tractor. Our 1570, it doesn't have as big as loader or the weight capacity of this 4440 does. So with the Quickie, Quickie has a, it's a little bit newer uh, loader. This loader was basically designed when this special tractor was designed in Sunset Yellow, I think that's called. Or brown, something like that. 
All right, let's get in our little uh, trike killer. These chains back here were always annoying too. They always came off and you'd always have to fix them. But such a simple design, just a gas tank engine, chain, and axle. That's why most of them always uh, floated across the water, especially if they had big enough uh, wheels on. I don't think this one has big enough wheels. But... We go check out our creepy old uh, barn here. We'll leave that for another day. Ooh, we got mud here. Oh. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, yeah. Our legs are covered in mud now. Yep. Go for the brush. Wow. That's a major brush. All right, here we go. Back in the bean field. Hopefully I don't hit a rock. Just stopped just in time. That was a big rock right there. Whew. There we go. I love my mud flaps. Back off. Simony sand tells you to. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's see. If we can finish up. This way, I think I'm gonna GPS set where all the rocks are so I don't have a hard time finding them. And I can finish spraying, so I could just put that in the GPS, just put a little waypoint, and I can at least know where they are in the field, because you can't really see them, to be honest. Might actually drive over one. I can't believe, I don't know how this field was planted. They must have came up uh, past when they was planted, because I didn't have to see them. It would have been easy to see them on the grounds that low or when the ground's not covered. Love my Haggy sprayer. Very easy to use. Big booms and it's not that costly because we bought it used. Self-propelled sprayers are like no joke nowadays. They are really expensive because no one wants a pull type like me. Alright, we got a plot of a, a rock field here. Let's put that in the waypoint. Alright. Add that. You might hear something in my voice, so I'm recovering from bronchitis, so uh, you have to deal with my voice. Sorry. I have to deal with a horse talking, but uh, slowly recovering. If you ever had bronchitis, you know it. It's not the easiest to recover from, but it's not the worst virus out there. There's definitely worse viruses. And I, uh, my pity goes out to anybody uh, suffering from that coronavirus or this nasty, uh, basically this whole year. It's easy to get sick, that's for sure. It's taken me many, many days to recover from this bronchitis. So I'm spraying in this haggy, so we can do a little bit of small stuff, but it takes the wind right out of me, let's just say that. Almost done, and then we gotta figure out how in the world we're gonna, hopefully I can find somebody I can rent an excavator from. Alright, that's it. Fold it up. Maybe took us maybe 15 minutes. Pretty easy to fold this thing up. Wait till it folds up, and then we'll start driving. There, lock. There we go. Start driving really worried this is a 
first year I'm farming this ground and it seems pretty bumpy which you really don't want for bean fields so I'm hoping I don't suck a rock up or run the head into the ground here really got to run the head close to the bean uh, the ground level to make sure you get as many as them bean pods as possible All right, got to load this thing up here, right over our little uh, killer machine here. Keep driving it on here. Ooh, gets a little shaky right here. All right, got to load it up. Shut this off. Look at that, just perfect. Rides right underneath there, almost perfect for that machine there. Start up our old international here. Slowly turn this thing around. Just love this spraying trailer here. Such a great spraying setup. Works great, especially if you only have a few fields to do in a day. driving in here I'm gonna get this thing right over to the pressure washer get this uh, thing sprayed off if you know uh, you don't want them nasty herbicides or anything on your sprayers so especially don't want to keep them running around them sprayers so definitely need to clean that off let's see uh, pull this out here we can start pressure washing this off. Go. Make sure you spray off all the nozzles. Everything has to be perfectly clean, otherwise, you'll have a rust bucket. Especially the truck, in case you spill anything. Pressure wash all that stuff off nice and neat and clean. All right, that's done. All right, move this into our collection of uh, pressure washers. I know we have a lot. I like to double fist. Psh, double fisting. All right, now we gotta back this up back into our uh, garage. This is not gonna be easy. Very carefully. We have it. Got a lot of stuff in this garage. Got to make sure I miss up, miss my planting uh, trailer there. Just barely. I'm gonna miss our semi right there. There we go. Keep backing it up all the way until it feels expensive, right there. There we go. Got it all backed up. Did I even hit my trailer over here? Oh, well, well, I guess I might have got my tank a little bit there. Uh oh. So I think I'm gonna get oh my beautiful new truck here. My new Chevy I got here with a bow tie. This is actually my first Chevy. The other ones were uh, my other ones are GMCs before, but I traded it in just because uh, I just love the looks of this old me machine. Had to get it back lifted, so. Yeah, there we go. Think I'm gonna go over here, hook up to my big gooseneck here, and we'll figure out where we can get an excavator at. All right, hooked up, ready to go. Well, we gotta fold them back up here, there we go. Now let's go see what excavators or machines we can get to help us. I'm just going to go down to the rental company and I'm hoping I can get into something cheap. Don't know exactly what they have that might work for us to take them rocks off, but we'll find something. 
Okay, so we... This is what we got to select from. Hmm, somebody's stuck in that one. Does that mean you're borrowing it already? I don't know. Weird. But, uh, I think what we're gonna do is I want to, uh, probably borrow this one. Just because I can use it. I can use these forks to hopefully grab it. I can use this John Deere payloader here to hopefully lift up them rocks. This graffle hork, well, well, this graffle bucket should work great for that. I'm hoping. This thing is a beast. Look at the big, meaty tires on there. Back in. So this is a uh, 644K John Deere, and I don't know exactly how big this is. This is a uh, 290 LCN. I don't know if that means the horsepower, but we can use this bucket to hopefully fill in the little dirt patches we leave behind. But the only big issue is, is I can't lift all this at once. So I'm going to have to take a couple trips. There's no way old uh, bow tie over here can lift all that at one time or haul it all let's just say it's like we're gonna be a little wide for this thing Ooh, lift that thing up a little bit well, there we go can't really see the tracks on this thing but i know it's pretty close to the side of me come on get up there all right got it i will set that down Some weight off that. Ooh, lit, lit some t Ooh, that's not good. Watch that front of that truck. Do a little, little hop there. Uh oh. We might be having problems. We might have to back it up a little bit here. We got some squat there. We got. Oh man. This might be a little heavy, so definitely not gonna pull them both. Let's see if this old red can do it. Ooh, not hitting that. That's not very good. Uh, this is the worst part, turning this old beast around. Alright, we are heading downtown. We're heading now. Let's see if we can get to that field. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This might be an issue. I think I'm going to have to get in that excavator and point out the bucket. All right, I'm hoping that gets under that highline pole or highline lines there. Ooh, that might be a little close. Let's see. Will it make it? Will it ground us out? Just barely. Just look at that. Just barely run back there. I know I'm on the highway, but I'm going to run back there and shut off the excavator really quick. I don't remember if there's any more highline pulls, so we are just going to highline mines. We're just going to leave it like it is. Alright, now we're pulling the payloader here. Ooh, thing's kind of sliding there. Hopefully it stays on alright. Stay on there, payloader. We're gonna get this down there and then hopefully get started and hopefully these will pick up them rocks. We're hoping at least. Without cares and worn out clothes, doesn't seem so long ago. Now I'm just sitting here bored at home. And it really got me thinking of the times we took off on the road. Alright, we'll pull in right here. Make sure we take this nice and wide. Not the easiest place to turn in here. There we go, got it. Drive over here. I'm gonna have to get me a nice little rock picker upper for these fields. Uh, one that you pull behind a tractor or something, I think it would work nicely, but right now we're gonna have to for these big boys we're gonna have to use the trailer and i'll fold these up and then i'll move the trailer over there in position hopefully i can put them right on this big boy fold these out 
wrong way. I'm getting used to these controls. They're backwards, so... There we go. I think I can squeeze in right in between here. Hopefully, yep. Should be able to. Yep, killing some beans now. Try to get this down. Oh man. Whoa, 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 whoa. About took out the windshield right there. Alright. There we go. Down right there. Probably don't squeeze it that tight. Oh, well, there we go. There we go. Oh, careful. 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 Oh, man. These rocks are not easy to do. Alright, right there should be alright. That was a lot harder. Problem is, is these uh, claws right there, you know, they're having a hard time uh, basically digging around these rocks. Not making it easy, that's for sure. Nice and tight. Oh, I think, oh, 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 oh. Might have this one. Oh, no. Oh, man. Nope, oh, nope, oh, don't roll away from me there, buddy. There we go. Alright, got that one in place. Hmm. Don't know if this excavator is going to pay for its lease, because I don't know if, if this is going to work better than that payloader is, because it doesn't seem like it is. All right, that's the last one over in this area. Probably should have brought my three-wheeler over here to help scout these again. Hmm. Where's my other ones at here? All right, I got one over here. And... All right, we got a few over here. I think I'm going to try to use the payloader to get these picked up. Retire this thing for a little while. Back it in right between here again. All right. Yep. Yeah. The grapple hook just wasn't working how I thought it would be. I was w hoping it would work a little bit better, but... Ooh, uh, looks like that trailer might be a little bit overloaded, so I'm gonna put this here. We'll get that on the second load there. Probably shut that off. All right. Ooh, I got a lot of weight on the front of this thing. I'm gonna scout around. I did bring the three-wheeler over here, little Honda. Let's see how many more we have around here. Let's see. Yep, we got a one random one way over here. I think we have a few more on the other side. Man, I can't believe that, uh, that... I can't believe that Chevy doesn't have more squat to it. Did we... I don't see this one over here. Alright, that's good news. I think we got the majority of them already. Alright, so we should be good to go right here. Now we just have to uh, back this thing up. All right, we're gonna try to back this thing up here without losing a rock in the field. It's okay to lose it. Ooh, careful there, rocks. Them rocks are just 
want to move this truck all around. They move, this truck moves. Back this up, oh man, that thing, the rocks are just moving us all around here. Oh, oh wow, we just barely missed that one. I'm hoping just because of all this weight, I'm just going to move all these rocks over here by Big Betsy. Betsy. I named this rock because uh, it's a giant, and I'm glad I didn't have to move it. All right. Okay, uh, we're going to try to take off really good, and hopefully them rocks just fall off. We got one of them We're just bouncing back on that tree and I'm hoping to just bounce them off oh man didn't quite get that one yet oh I got another one right there who needs a dump bed huh one more time One more, nicely. Just one more tippity tap. We got all the rocks in our little uh, rock garden here. All right, we're gonna head back over here and hopefully get the rest of them. We do have one, one that just kind of fell off while we're going down over here. It's unfortunate. Get these all loaded up here quickly. There, oh, oh, stay on there. Just wanting to slide out. Stay on there. Stay on there. Should be our last one. Then we can unload these here quickly. Go. Go and place nicely. I think I'm just gonna load push this one into the trees if I can. Don't have to worry about this grass here killing it. Probably should have just pushed these all off and it'd probably have been a lot easier. Oh, oh no. Got a little sideways there. There we go. Yep, not working. Not working how I planned. Rock sliding is not my specialty. When I was a kid, I used to be a special at a slippery slide. There we go. Got that one. Hey, yep. Put it over there by Mama. Alright. Hopefully I won't have to use these to knock them off of the trailer. We'll just park this right here, back that trailer up quickly, and hopefully knock them off. Alright, let's see. Last tough load. Do you have it in it, Chevy? You've been a rock so far. Built like a rock. Oh, man. Can't get them. I think I'm going to have to push them over with this. Probably. Push them right off that bed there. Go okay, we'll push them right off. There we go. Got them off. So I know these boaters are probably bigger than what uh, are normally found in a field, but there are these big boaters found in the field every once in a while. But thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here in Missouri. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe.